Hey there Abiding Fam and welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new. Now while I love journaling my memories and seeing words upon words on a page, there is some truth to the saying a picture is worth a thousand words. Sometimes a few photos can recall memories of a day far better than my words ever could. And that's why I love incorporating photos into my journaling and today I'm going to show you how to print photos for your own journal too. This has been a much requested video and thanks to my patrons who voted to see this video this month, I'm going to share my process with you today, as well as some tips and ideas on how to incorporate photos into your journal entries at the end, so make sure you stay tuned to the video all the way through. So obviously when journaling our photos, we want those photos to be small enough to fit into our journal and still leave enough room for us to write our thoughts and feelings. So that's where the app Pic Collage comes in. I love using this app to basically create a collage of photos so that the more photos I have in the collage, the smaller they will be. Typically, I like to do four to a page, but every now and then I'll add an extra one in for smaller photos, just depending on the different sizes that I'm interested in for that entry. So here I'm doing some photos from a fun event that Ben and I went to called Fête en Blanc. And I'm going to definitely do a journal with me video of these photos, so be sure to subscribe to my channel so you get notified when I put that out. What I'm doing is I'm just moving around the photos. I can switch around what order they're in if I want to use the whole collage. Obviously, if I'm cutting that out, that doesn't matter too much. But I can also change the sizes by moving those little blue boxes up and down and just playing around with what size I want each of those photos to be. Once I'm satisfied with the layout, I can go back and then it'll show me all of my collages and at any time I can go back into a collage and edit it. So I'm going to go back to this one and edit a little bit more. So at the bottom of the edit screen, there are some different things you can play around with such as background, stickers, and text. Text is one of my favorite things to add to photos especially to add titles or dates. So for this one, I'm just writing out the title of that event that we attended, which is Fête en Blanc. And I obviously had a little bit of a misspelling there. It auto-corrected, so I had to go in just by double-clicking, and then I can change that text at any point in time. And then once I'm satisfied, I hit the little checkbox. And I can also play around with fonts and sizes by moving the different blue arrows and boxes. So here I can go in and pick a different font, whichever I feel best will go along with that entry and the theme of it. So for this one, it definitely has more of a posh feel, so I want that really pretty cursive font, so that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to move it around a little bit more, make sure it's in the place that I want it, and then once I'm satisfied, I just hit done. This is going to take me to the screen where I can decide how I want to use that photo. And I'm just going to hit print and then select my printer. And you can adjust the number of copies as well. Normally you just need one for your journal. Now the printer I personally use is called a Canon Selfie. It is a small personal size printer that sits on your desktop and connects via Wi-Fi to your phone. So it actually creates its own little Wi-Fi. So that's what I'm going into right now. And then through that, I can connect directly to the Canon Selfie via my phone. Now, I did a lot of research before selecting the Canon Selfie for myself, and I encourage you to do the same. There are obviously other small printers on the market, such as the Polaroid Zip or HP Sprocket, which are great options, I'm sure. But I personally went for the Canon Selfie because it seemed to have the best quality of photos, it was truest to color, partly because of the way it prints. I also really liked that I knew I would never run out of ink because it prints in a way that it does the colors in layers, so there's always enough layers of color for the number of pages that you get in a box. I also really enjoy the fact that it prints 4x6, so I can have a full 4x6 photo if I want. And because of that, I also get the best bang for my buck when I print multiple photos to a single page. In comparison to some of the other printers on the market, those were the things that were most important to me, but if you are somebody who wants to be able to travel with it super easily, then maybe one of the smaller printers would be better. 
or if you're somebody who really likes the idea of it coming with a sticky back, then maybe another would also be better for you. So as you can see, you do have to kind of snap off essentially. There's little pieces on the ends of the photo that you take off. So that's what I was doing there. And I'm gonna print another photo here to show you what that looks like when you have the full four by six. So you can see that I can switch around what I want at the edge of that photo. And this is really important to understand with the Canon selfie that if you are doing the full four by six, the very edge of your photo on the top and bottom will be cut off. So you don't want anything there that is super important to your photo. And I'll explain this more after it prints, but before I printed these photos, I also wanted to play around with some other functions on Pic Collage. You can add different frames, you can also play around with different filters. There's also a fun part where you can add borders, which I like doing every now and then. So for this one, I did decide to go ahead and put a nice little white border around the edge of the photo just to help stand it out a little bit more. So after I have that frame, I'm going to go back and I'm just going to rotate the photo so that I can fit the full image on this 4x6. And here I'm going to show you how I'm leaving a little bit of space at the top. I'm putting the photo down a little bit and leaving that empty space so that when it prints, I don't lose that border to the part that's going to be cut off. Now this time, instead of printing it directly, I'm saving it to my library so that it goes into my photos which is nice if you want to ever use these for Instagram or some other social media. And then I can go into my printer through my photos. If ever there's a photo that you want to print just directly from your photos and not go through Pic Collage, you definitely can do that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit print and then this one will go through the same exact process as the other, putting on each of those colors in layers and then putting a glossy coating over the top to seal it. That is something to note that one of my favorite things about the Canon Selfie is it makes your photos waterproof. And so the longevity of these photos is also really impressive. It's gonna last a long time. And of course we want the element of our journal to stand the test of time. So here you can see how when I peel off that edge, it is taking a part of the photo with it, which is why I say you wanna leave that little bit of space at the top so that the photo is not being cut off at all if there's parts of it that you really want there on the edge. So once we've printed our photos, guys, we are ready to stick them into our journal. And the way I do that is I first go ahead and cut them all down. This isn't always the case. Sometimes I like the full collage and just slap it in my journal as is. But most of the time, I'm going to cut out all of the little images and use them that way. Once I have them cut out, I usually store them away. I like to print out my photos in bulk so that I always have something to work with. That's a really good tip for you guys is to keep all of your little things together. So you can see I have business cards, little mementos from various events and I keep them here in this box along with the photos I print out so that I'm always ready to go with a journal entry. And then when I'm ready, I can pull out that box and just take out the photos that I want to work with that day. So there you go guys, that is how I print my photos and I'm going to give you a few tips on how to embellish them and use them in your journal in just a moment here. But I just want to reiterate that while I use the Canon Selfie and highly recommend it, you do not need a special portable printer to print photos for your journal. You can use your standard at home printer, you can send them off somewhere to get printed such as Shutterfly or Snapfish. Ultimately, it doesn't matter where the photos are printed, it just matters that you have them. So just remember to take photos to commemorate moments in your life, whether of yourself, friends, or even just a poster of a movie you watched. The whole point after all is to just have an image that is going to stimulate your memory and take you back to that moment. Something else to consider is whether you want to have a full-size collage, small photos, big photos, whether you want them to be the centerpiece of that entry, these are all things to consider when deciding what to print and how big. I also showed you how you can use text and other elements to make your photos more than just an image. So you can of course do this digitally like I showed you using Pic Collage, but you can also do this just with a pen. 
So I really love using the Sakura Microperm pen, and that's how I create this sort of look using my number stencil. And then I also sometimes will use a jelly roll that you do need to let dry a little bit more, such as in this photo here, you can see I wrote my girls over top of it or the fridge. So it's just a fun way to basically add a caption to your photos. And the final way I like to do that is just by printing out my stories from Instagram. You can also play around with cutting out the photos in different ways, adding stickers. Of course, tip-ins is always a really fun way to incorporate photos and be able to add even more photos than you typically would be able to on an entry. But ultimately, the whole point is to have fun. Just enjoy the process of reliving those memories through your photos. I just can't recommend the use of photos in your journal enough. It just adds such a beautiful personal element to your entry, but it doesn't mean it's to take the place of the writing itself. I really think that they work together and go hand in hand. So I really hope this video inspires you to use more photos in your journal while also providing the tips on how to do so. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you incorporate tips from this video, be sure to let me know on Instagram by tagging me and using the hashtag myabidingjournal. I would just love to see what you're creating. And of course, thank you, thank you to my patrons for not only making this video possible by voting for it to be this month's video here on YouTube, but also just thank you for your abiding support. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll join our abiding fam by hitting that subscribe button, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!